Hello and welcome back to free Excel tutorial videos. For today's lesson, I will demonstrate to you how you can use uh, structured formula references in Excel. Okay, now what is structured references? In Excel, we can have our data in a standard data range or in Excel 2007 onwards, we can convert the standard data into a range or into a table okay so let me show you over here I have uh, the standard data range what most people will do is they will apply the bold formatting on the labels or on the header and over on the right I have the exact copy of the data and I want to convert this into a structured reference so I'm going to convert this into a table so with one cell selected over here let's come over to the insert tab and select table As you can see, it has automatically selected the appropriate data. So let's just click OK. So now you notice that we have this alternate shading in the data, as well as a, a new tab up here in the ribbon, the design tab, which only appears when I click a cell, any cell in the table. So if I click over here, you will see the tab disappear. So if I click on the table, you will see that the tab appears once more. Okay, and over here we have the table styles, and we can select uh, any type of style that is suitable for this data or the data that you have. Okay, we also have the ability to name this table. So in the design tab, uh, let's come over here to the property on the upper left and you see here table name and you can name the table so let's rename it I'm going to name it as structured okay and hit enter okay now if I come over here and type average this cell over here and type average and I hit enter you can see that the table added that column into the, the table we have the alternate shading and we also have the filter supply on the top okay so now here is the beauty with structured references say that I want to have the average for units that are in each cell so I come here and I'm going to type equals and I will point to the sale let me just move this over here so that you can see as you can see the formula we have here is different okay uh, it is not pointing to the cell but you can see the table name over here and it is using this row and it is referring to the sales next I will use the operator the divide operator and I will point to the field that has the units shift okay okay now the formula looks very like very complicated okay but now um, the formula is complete so I'm going to click uh, I'll finish off by clicking enter at the formula bar right so let's click and see we have the average for um, the unit sales for each unit shift okay so now if I want to change the format for the entire column I can just come over to this cell and use the keyboard shortcut control shift down and um, I want to apply the, the, the dollar sign and uh, and okay that looks good okay 
so this is one of the benefit that you can get with structured references um, okay now let's come over to the standard data okay uh, it's very different uh, when we are working with a standard data range okay by putting average in this column over here uh, and then uh, we will type let's use the same formula we will uh, use equals and in this case we're going to use this cell over here and we're going to divide it by the unit shift and I'm going to hit enter and of course we will have to copy it down for us to have the result for all the rows below okay so now let me point something else that you can get with tables okay let's come over to the table with any cell uh, selected in the table say here I can go to the design tab up here and I can uh, come over to the table styles option and uh, I can add this um, total row checked okay and you will see this appear okay you automatic automatically uh, calculate the total for the entire data range okay and with the total row I can choose here uh, different functions that I want to use I can use with the data that I have so let's use some to sum up the sales that we have and also some here to some the units that we have shipped out okay so this is it's really easy and convenient for you when you use structured formula references so this is the huge difference when you use a standard data range like this one okay where you need to do everything manually uh, and but when you use the structured references you can do uh, calculations pretty much faster okay so uh, thank you for watching this tutorial i will see you in the next tutorial